Hello, ako ay si Rafi Alunan. Inaanyayahan ko kayong panoorin ang pang-apat na kabanata ng Tagaligtas. Ito ay magtatalakay kung paano na iligtas ng SAF, ang kalayaan at demokrasya ng ating bansa, sa panahon ni dating Pangulong Corazon si Aquino, laban sa mga rebelding sundalo noong August 1987, at December 1989. Makinig kayo sa salaysay ng mismong mga sundalo na lumaban noon. He had a brother who was with the rebels and his brother called him up and said, you know, uh, uh, umalis na kayo dyan, pupulbusin namin kayo dyan, ganun. Madilim, di mo alam kung sino yung kalaban mo sa loob. Si Army Marines Sap. Yung pakikipaglaban, na-train kami dyan eh. Pero ang mahirap ng desisyon doon, kalaban mo yung kapwa mo sundalo o yung ista mo. Before I could do that, actually I had to lock myself into a room, internalize, and, and evaluate if this is something that I really have to do or need to do. Despite the euphoria from people power, the first three years of the Aquino government were the most vulnerable to coup attempts. Discontented with the government they helped install, the Reform the Armed Forces Movement, or RAM, led by then Lieutenant Colonel Gringo Onasan, launched several coup attempts between 1986 and 1989. Two of these almost toppled the government and turned brothers in arms against each other. Rebel troops attack centers of gravity, Malacanang, Camps Crame and Aguinaldo, and the government broadcast station, PTV4. In response, the government quickly mobilized its counterforce to quell the rebellion. For the PC SAF, the critical area of engagement was Channel 4, where they engaged rebel forces to retake it and force them out of their stronghold in a nearby hotel. The Constabulary Integrated National Police might not have been able to handle the retaking of PTV4 and uh, Camelot Hotel with just ordinarily trained police officers. Sabi sa PTV4. Talagang doon namin na ano, yung ganito, yung tulad kalapad yung pader. Na ano kami doon, siya pulap kami doon. Ang mission namin, magmula dito sa Krami, Camelot Hotel. Punong-puno yan ng mga kapwa namin sundalo rin. So, ang mission namin ay i-plus out sila dyan. Uh, SAF went to PTB4 and captured the rebels that were uh, hold out there. And uh, later on, secured the Camelot Hotel. Although 14 SAF troopers were injured in the process, in the end, it was a failed rebel attempt. While the August coup attempt was short-lived, military rebels struck again in 1989. On November 30, Rebel soldiers belonging to the RAM SKP YOU launched another coup attempt that would last seven days. Better funded and more organized, it would be the bloodiest in Philippine history. At the onset, the rebels took Villamor Air Base, Sangli Naval Station, and Mactan Air Base swiftly controlling the assets of the Philippine Air Force. Once again, Malacanang, Camps Aguinaldo, and Crame were simultaneously attacked. Ramos was inside the DND building, and uh, hours later, it was already being bombed by, by Tora Tora planes, the rebel planes. Kitang-kita namin, pati yung pagbomba ng Tora Tora sa, sa Aguinaldo, tinira din tong uh, Crame, sunog yung tuktok ng ano, yung headquarters namin. And I told myself, The, the Cory government is really teetering on the brink of defeat. They contacted uh, Sunny Razon and I said, uh, 
I'm join you guys in Krame. On the other side of Santola, we could see the shelling uh, taking place. We were listening to the radio. We heard a Christmas carol in the background. And the guy beside me, uh, sergeant, just broke down. And he asked me, he says, uh, why? Why is this happening? We were manning a machine gun nest. Uh, Sunny Razon, uh, Jojo Angan, Conrad Capa, Noli Talino. Everybody was preparing for a big battle because General Blando uh, had 2,000 troops somewhere in Green Hills in the Unimart area. Staff's other concern was to secure the battle staff led by Chief of Staff General Renato de Villa, who held office at Camp Aguinaldo. Apparently, they have selected 70 men to purposely to, to uh, snatch Secretary Ramos, uh, Gerald Villa, who was then the chief staff, and then andon sila Secretary Luigi Santos. Yan ang nakaunang bakbakat. Staff promptly sent four teams to augment us. The staff commander at the time was uh, uh, Hermo Hennes Ebdane. During that time, what crossed my mind, uh, this is the way the CPP, NPA, MNLF, and MILF feel when they're being bombarded. It took two days for government forces to fully regain control of Camp Aguinaldo. Despite the air attack on Camp Krame, it was never assaulted by rebel troops. They were led by Lieutenant Colonel Rafael Galvez, battalion commander of the 1st Scout Ranger Regiment. Among them was Captain Danilo Lim, leader of the Young Officers' Union. Uh, your immediate action in any uh, encounter in the field is to always occupy the high ground as a scout ranger. Occupy the high ground because the high ground would give you distinct advantage. So in an urban setting without any hills and mountains to occupy, the high grounds were the tall structures in, uh, in Makati. SAF, which was in one part of Ayala, was having a sniper war with the scout rangers. In Solar Life, may bakante tapos andito yung building kung saan andun yung mga mga tropa, mga SAF. Hindi sila makatawid dito, itong open space na to. Dahil ini-snipe sila. Ini-snipe sila. Siguro about 50 meters yung haba, no? So, gusto nilang pasokin yun. SAF, SAF, kayo naman ng mauna. So, di, sir, eh, general yun, eh, tinyente lang kami. Sir, tayo raw mauna. O oh, sige, alam mo, pag-turn mo na, talagang ahabuli ng sniper yung ng bala yung paa mo. Nung turn ko na, talagang dasal din ako. Lord, bala ka na, pagtakbo ka nun, talaga yung ping-ping-ping-ping yung eh, simento yun. Kaya ano pa yun eh, yung ricochet niya, di ba? So, kaya pag nakakross ka na, wow, parang uh, baseball eh. So, save! <laughs> Scout Rangers were tourists and civilians, trapped inside hotels, condominiums, and residences. The task of taking them out of harm's way fell in the hands of then Under Secretary of Tourism, Rafael Alunan. So it fell on my shoulders to uh, look for a way to penetrate the battle zone and get the tourists out. I engaged the Rangers in negotiations for the release of trapped tourists and other non combatants. I sensed from their agreement to talk that I guess it would just be a matter of time before the coup would end. That particular incident showed that they were sincere about releasing the hostages and uh, finishing off the negotiations. Hindi pwedeng gawing hostage yung mga yun dahil counterproductive. So what we did was we allowed the evacuation of these tourists and the residents in the area. And sabi ko nga, let's uh, uh, pakita natin that uh, uh, we are good soldiers. With the tourists and civilians safely out of the way, the fighting ceased. Before long, the rebels realized that they were fighting a losing battle. A day later, the rangers returned to their barracks. Sabi ko, talo. And uh, let's just, the best thing we can do is right now is uh, while kaya nating patagalin ito, uh, ganun din eh. 
let's just turn this uh, impending defeat into a psychological victory. So, ganun na lang. Once again, freedom and democracy prevailed. This is only the first time I'm realizing that fully, that we, in effect, helped save the country as Special Action Force. Thank you for watching Part 4 of Tagaligtas. Kung nagustuhan ninyo ang video na inyong nakita, sana i-share ninyo sa inyong mga social media communities. The next segment, Part 5, will explain how the government dealt with the communist armed insurgency. Ito si Rafi Alunan. May the force be with you.